crispy. y'all to another episode of figures in action and today i bring this offering to the dio gods was contacted by a person <laughs> excuse me who was interested in a piece and the way he described it was if tony stark were to create the Batman using Krypton technology to make it look like the Starbase killer or killer Starbase or something like that. It was it was all over the place. <clears throat> so usually when I get somebody who uh, hits me up like that, what I chalk it up as is that they're not really sure what they want. They want something, uh, they just don't really know what they want. So everything he was mentioning uh, just kind of screamed sci-fi to me. So what I did is I just hit him up and I proposed... Uh, just doing a small sci-fi type corner base or inside of a sci-fi base and uh he was uh he was about it, about it so we uh we came up with this so i came up with this now okay so uh real quickly as i need to get out to work I wanted to just do this before i, I headed out to work so these people well that's iron man there for for scale so you get an idea of iron man looking up at the control panel uh you know and uh kind of uh in the scale in terms of uh the door and, and so forth so let's discuss how this came about all right so this th this piece right here which is actually kind of the theme um for the entire dial pretty much is a piece i don't have it in front of me actually it's in my backpack but it is a piece that comes with the boundless brooklyn water towers if you guys aren't sure what those are i've i've created uh i've i've excuse me customized those before those are created by boundless brooklyn uh they're made out of uh recycled cardboard or recycled materials so what this piece so when you get the um the water tower this piece pops out from the bottom uh and that's where you kind of kind of stick the water tower so it's just a piece that you you dump essentially but anytime i see interesting pieces i keep i keep them so i kept this one it was a thicker cardboard and what i did is i traced that piece onto um foam sheets so these are all foam sheets and uh once i started cutting the pieces out what it created at the end is i kind of went in a row it created what looked like a doorway to me so i was like word perfect doorway uh, and just kind of did the, the, you know, where the door would open and kind of the caution, yellow and black, customary sci-fi uh, styles. Came up here with a darker gray and uh, actually did a stencil, a little bit of glue there. Did a stencil and just came in with, with a foam paint brush and uh, uh, just kind of dabbed those in there. So kind of made it a, a recurring theme. This right here is made out of just straw. So I took them. I have a bunch of I got a, a whole pack of uh, straws at IKEA for like three bucks or something like that. So what I did is just the parts that kind of uh, the parts that stretch and whatever. I just cut those out. You can see kind of the rudimentary cutting <laughs> there, but uh, it works out. It works out for for sci-fi uh, type dials, and, and it's also something that's gonna fall in the background. Um, as I oftentimes mention how these things should be falling in the background. This is just a piece of foam. This is a piece of foam. This is glued in there permanently. This is loose, but it's glued in into that and into that, so it should be okay. Uh, the same did the same thing with the floor. Just kind of carved them out. These little holes here that you see, that's actually a pen. I took the if you take the the tip off of a pen, like a big pen, uh, you're left with this like round. So I just did that and kind of put them in there and twisted them. And uh, and this is vellum paper and vellum paper. Uh, the reason for the vellum paper is let me shut off this light. No, I'll shut off this light and then we'll turn on this light. We can shut that off. So, what you get is uh, the vellum paper um, acts as a almost like a see through 
I shouldn't say see-through. The vellum paper acts in a way where you can light it up and the light will come right through, but it isn't see-through. It's kind of a foggy feel. What I did there is I just kind of um, went to publisher, grabbed a couple. He mentioned the Baxter building too. So I put the Baxter building, I put a Hulkbuster schematic and a Batcave schematic. So I figured I'd cover some of what he wanted. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it looks like uh, lit up. Um, and I always think it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool look. I mean, it's a pretty cool look. Uh, and then we can turn it off. And even when it's turned off, even when you don't have light, you can see the detail of what's on the, the picture. So I'll definitely, uh, enjoy that. All right. So this piece is 13 inches across. It is 12 inches tall. It is 11 inches deep. It is fully magnetized. I keep forgetting to, to do this I, I usually do this where you just kind of take it apart and you know so it basically breaks down three pieces uh, once you have those three pieces I always like to put a legend right in front of it it's less than less than three inches uh, once they're a little more than three inches once they're kind of packed up on top of each other and this just uh, allows it for easy shipping and storage I think a lot of times you know we we uh, <laughs> I've seen this a lot where People are always finding new ways, and I, I, I love innovation, and people are always finding new ways of, of connecting these backboards, or excuse me, these um, foam boards together, and how can you do it the best way. I've tried toothpicks. I've tried different systems. I think magnets work the best. I think sometimes in life, things are just, uh, things are just set up in a way where uh, they, they are what they are for, for the time being and until something else comes up. Uh, the magnets are working just fine. So it's fully magnetized. Uh, I do have to mod podge this. I usually I just give it an acrylic spray sealer, but I'm going to mod podge because um, my understanding is that uh, the person who's getting this wants uh, his son to kind of play with it. I'm actually off camera. I'm actually going to write the name Rooster right up there, just kind of in a space type letters because he wanted his son's name to be on the dial. So I'll, I'll do that. Uh, this is the same deal here. This is... um. A foam sheet and I'll just give you guys a look at the back of it what I did with the back is uh, instead of painting that rim in black where I think it would have given it a shadow I kept it in green so it gives it a brighter color so when the light when it's lit up from the back um, you don't get any any shadow work in terms of those corners so that's what it looks like just cut out a hole um, and then this piece this piece here actually is a little longer so I was able to glue it on and then glue this piece on and this extended past a little bit. So I kind of did level so it would fall into place and work out and look good. Uh, yeah, man, and that's pretty much it. There's not much more to say about this. Um, I think it's my second sci-fi dial. I, I, I'm always out of my comfort zone a little bit when I'm working on these. I think this one, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. I, I think this one's definitely... Uh, a step in the right direction in terms of sci-fi. Uh, Chris Lyons, uh, Chris Gupton, those are two other guys that they do amazing sci-fi uh, dials that I love to see their work, and I just I'm just not there. <laughs> I'm just not there. Oh uh, yeah, just the, the I, what I did is I kind of cut out uh, almost like an, <clears throat> for the doorway, just kind of a pattern, so it kind of looks um like some you know you open up and you walk right onto the that pattern there and then I came back and this is actually not even a different color this is like a black like a black that was uh drenched in uh in water and just kind of sustained a little bit and that is it I'll throw some pictures at the end of this please feel free to like to comment to subscribe and all that good shit and I am out of here peace